Hey guys, Garage Sailor Vaughn here. It is September 1st, 2012, and I'm going to show you all the finds that I picked up um, today. The first thing I'm going to show you is all the shoes that I picked up. And these are the first ones. They are used shoes. As you can see the tag in here, they are Steve Madden uh, yacht shoes, women's. And I paid a dollar for these shoes, and my estimate is that they're going to sell for around eight to ten dollars and the next thing are these women's rather dirty white uh, classic van slip-on shoes and I paid a dollar for these two and I'm guessing that they're gonna sell for around twelve dollars on eBay everyone who wears vans so they're pretty easy to sell especially because white cleans up with bleach pretty well these shoes here they are golf shoes they're Foot Joy Contour Series, men size 12. You can see the bottoms here. They're in really good shape. Doesn't look like they were worn too many times. Uh, you can see the tag in the inside of the shoe. So these I also paid only a dollar for. And I'm estimating that these are going to sell as they are for around $35. I've already sold these exact same shoes except they were brand new and I sold them for I believe it was 55 or 65 so these slightly used ones I'm gonna say 35 and the last thing for the shoes are these boots you can see they are uh, brown suede boots um, they have zipper here and there are YKK zippers which I know that is a very good brand for uh, zippers and these are also Steve Madden shoes probably pretty expensive retail and this brand name is pretty expensive so I know that these will definitely do pretty well and I paid a dollar for these and my estimate is that they are gonna sell on eBay for twenty dollars Next we're going to go for jeans. These are Joe's jeans. You can see the Joe's logo. And here's the back of the pockets. The vintage series. And it's the tag in here. So these jeans in this condition, I'm estimating that they sell for around $15 on eBay. But I wouldn't be surprised if they went for more since they're in great shape with no leg fraying or anything like that. The next pair of jeans I got are these Rock and Republic jeans. Here are the back pockets. And the front has a like. There's a distressed uh, hole here. It's on purpose, so shouldn't affect the value. But yeah, they're really nice, good condition. They have definitely been worn. And you can see there, you definitely see signs of wear, but still in terrific shape. I'm estimating that these jeans sell for about $20. And again, I paid only a dollar for them. Next ones are the Seven for All Mankind jeans. Looks like some of the, uh, the person that only sat on something and then stood up and it tore in the pocket because I'm guessing it wasn't like that before maybe it was I'm not sure but uh, hopefully that won't hurt the value too much it's a pretty popular brand so they're in good shape too um, but they have a lot of signs of wear so you can see they also have this see it's like pulled here and here I don't know that's just from too much wear but I've seen jeans with that before. So again, I paid only a dollar for these jeans, uh, just like all the other ones, and I think that these super skinny women jeans are going to sell for around $15. And lastly of the jeans are this brand I've never heard of or sold before, but I just took the gamble and got them, only a dollar, so. Um, and luckily, I think they're gonna do just as well as the other ones I got. Um, well, here I'll show you the tag and they are Machine is the brand 
and they are a US size 27 and here is their company's logo on the button I paid a dollar for these jeans and I'm estimating that they're gonna sell for around fifteen dollars which is not bad because I have never sold this brand before so it's definitely a risk buying them so pretty happy with them I hope they sell for that price and lastly for all the clothes I believe I got a blue polo shirt men size large should be a really popular size should be a no problem sell and it has a yellow polo pony so that's all it's in really good shape so I don't see why it wouldn't sell and I paid a dollar for it and my estimate is that it's probably gonna sell for uh, maybe fifteen dollars it's kinda big so I know I can't show you the whole thing but this is a trash can and the company name that makes this trash can is called Simple Human and it's had all the original packaging and stuff on it so I'm guessing it was like used but maybe like for the garage or something so they kept all the wrappers and stuff on it and stickers but I took it all off because I'm gonna be keeping it but I paid ten bucks for it and this exact same kind on eBay is selling for well it's selling for around thirty five dollars um, but again then again I'd have to ship it so it would really not be that much or maybe it was $35 and shipping I don't really remember but it doesn't matter because I'm keeping it so I got that uh, really good trash can it's really funny it even comes with a five-year warranty and a book on how to use it it's kind of cool it's like a fingerprint resistant trash can pretty cool and it also came with this package full of bags and it has a price tag just on the box of bags of fourteen dollars but this exact same box is selling on ebay for about twenty six dollars so i know i could make my money back just selling this box on ebay but i'm going to be keeping it and the trash can because i need the trash can so pretty good deal i picked up a guitar so here's the guitar here. It is a Washburn D10N. And it is in terrific shape. There's no dings or dents or anything on it. I'm talking as if it's a car, but uh, yeah, here's the back end. You can see it's really nice. It's like a really bright red. And all of it is red in the whole back. And here you can see it says Washburn and I'm not sure if you can see the label on the inside right there do 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 but yeah I got this guitar with the hard case which I guess I'll show you after I put this down but I got this and the hard case for fifty dollars and I already have it on Craigslist right now for a hundred and fifty it looks like on eBay it's selling for around a hundred dollars to hundred and fifty so I put it on Craigslist for a hundred and fifty since there's one other one on Craigslist for 200 I figured mine would uh, sell if someone was looking for it. So, yeah. My first guitar that I've ever purchased just to resell. So, hopefully it'll do pretty well. And here is the black hard case. It's also in really, really good condition. And I'll put it back here. So here is the lot of everything that I picked up today. Um, I spent a total of $69 on everything you see. And my estimated uh, value that everything is going to sell for is $366 for everything. Thank you guys so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.